What's going on, my gals and my gays and my straight boys? It's your boy, the Godfather, Quarter Comedian. I'm back with another YouTube video. You guys, it's been almost, well, been over two weeks since the last time y'all seen this melanated king. How have y'all been? It's February. It is Black History Month. I know I should have been in front of this camera. I know. I, I apologize. But I'm tired of being humble, you guys. I'm tired of just letting YouTube just do its own thing. It's time I pop my shit and get in front of this camera and just drop some content for y'all. It's time. I sat back long enough. I preserved myself. I let myself get even pretty and fine and more juicy than I ever been before. It's time I get in front of this camera and pop my shit. No more humble cool. I've been humble long enough. Now it's time for me to go after what I want. I want everything. I'm going down as one of the best to do this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in your hands. You're gonna make me the best to do this. You gave me the personality. You gave me everything. You, 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 you gave me these looks. You gave me this grapefruit. So it's time to talk about it. Enough about me. How have y'all been? Is your year going off right? Mine, is, mine has been crazy. It's just February and it's been a doozy. It's been a doozy. But y'all didn't come here to hear about my year so far. You guys came because of that title. Yes, you guys. And as you read that title, yes. He left me. He left a, 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 he left a, a stallion. He left a Godiva. He wanted to play. He, he played me, y'all. But I love to play Get Back. But before I jump into this video any further, I'm tired of y'all. The ones that hold me down, I love y'all. But I know they got a lot of y'all that come here. Y'all get a key and y'all run. It's time to come in. Valentine's Day is right here. Let's start off the Valentine's Day week right by liking, by subscribing to this YouTube channel to always be notified on what's going on over here. Yes, we have a wonderful time. Yes, we get into some details. Yes, we talk about story times quite a lot over here. You guys might not like that I talk about story times a lot over here, but it's what keeps the people coming. And if you have any video suggestions, you should drop them down below and maybe I can get into that too. Yes. So you guys, please make sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and please follow my Instagram and my Twitter down below. I don't be active much, but I mean when I'm active, you should be able to see what I'm posting because yes, when I'm active, I post quite a lot. But enough of all that out of the way, let's get into this video. Now, yes you guys, in the title, yes, he left me at a hotel. And I know you guys probably was like, what you call it? You got left at a hotel with a room to yourself. You should have just enjoyed it. And y'all, and looking back on it, I should have enjoyed it because that hotel was nice as fuck. It was nice enough. Like, it really was nice. I mean, the TV was small. It's kind of like a 32-inch TV, but I mean, other than that, girl, I could have spent a whole extra, like, 12 hours in there. But let me see you guys. Hey, I had just turned 20, you guys. Just turned 20, and I had just got my first car. So you guys know when you get your first car, you're going to break that car in. You're going to break that car in. And at this moment in life, I didn't have that many trades I have now. Back then, when I was around 20, I wasn't as confident and voluptuous as I am now. I had to grow into that. But back then, you know, I wasn't, you know, where I am now. I was maybe about like a nine. And now I'm like a hundred. Yep. I was at a nine, but I had this trade. We're going to call this trade Chris. Me and Chris chopped it up on a regular. Chris, unfortunately, was dealing with someone. He was a straight man. So he had his, you know, his peach in the morning time. And he had his cantaloupe at night. On one of these occasions, me and Chris decided to chop it up. We decided to, you know, let's get a room. Of course, I wasn't paying for the damn room. But he wanted to see me. And I'm like, what, what you gonna do about your girl? We're gonna call the girl Miranda. So Chris and Miranda. I said, what are you going to do about Miranda? How are you going to get away from Miranda? Now, you guys, I know you're probably saying what you call, but he got his old girl Miranda, though. Why are you, and you know that, just play your part. At 20, this is going on two years ago. At 20, I was ruthless. I didn't give a damn about nothing that was going on. If somebody wanted me and I, I, I had reciprocated them feelings, I was going after it. Oh, well. What Miranda don't know won't hurt her. At that time, I didn't even care. I was ruthless, you guys. I can't admit that. I was ruthless back in the day. Anyways, we had made plans to get a hotel room. Like I said, he wanted to pay for the hotel room. Chris wanted to get a hotel room, guys. The place was in Plaquemine. Now, my Louisiana folks, if you know Plaquemine and you know they have a hotel called Best Western, there you go. 
If you're from the surrounding areas and you know what I'm talking about, there you go. If not, just keep enjoying the video. Man, you come up here. I really want to see you. I want vibe with you. I'm gonna spend a night with you. Boom, pow, pow. He was saying everything I wanted him to say to get me up there. He went to the store. You guys bought me snacks. Bought us some snacks. Like we, I'm thinking, like you know, we was gonna really just chill up in there. You know, get comfortable. Maybe kissing, rub, and freaking frank with each other. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, we know Chris. Chris wants that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Chris wants that work. And I'm like, he lucky. He cute. So I'm gonna get it. Too. So we went up the time to go to the Best Western. I left out probably about five o'clock. Chris was there since three, getting the room together. I pulled up about a good six o'clock. And I was like texting his phone because this Best Western had plant workers in it. They had people that was having parties going on. So you never know who you could have saw up in there. I could have saw one of my classmates. I didn't want one of them seeing me creeping, going on my mission, you know, doing my own thing. I wanted to be sure like, okay, what's the room number? And do I need like a key card? And he was like, no, this Best Western, you guys didn't give a fuck about what was going on. I mean, people coming to and fro. You could have just walked in there, and if a room was unlocked, you could have spent the night in there. That's how laid back the, the uh, person behind the counter was. They didn't care about nothing that was going on. So I got I got the room number, you guys. I got the car. I was so nervous because I never spent a night with a guy, you guys. I just had so much going on, but on top of all that going on, I was like, I'm about to get eight out. Before I go any further, Chris in particular had a stroke on him. Had a stroke on him. The stroke on that man was deadly. But emotion in his ocean. That pink tongue. Oh. That pink tongue had me feeling emotions I never thought I could feel. Oh. I didn't even want the stroke. The stroke was good, but I just wanted the tongue. But I know it. I know what I know. I can't have this big, I can't have this big cantaloupe, this big juicy grapefruit bag there, and nobody I mean, they go expect to get in now. That's something I was slowly coming to terms with. Hated it, but I had to come to terms with it. I got the room number, you guys. I went up to the room. He was there. Chris is about maybe 6'1", probably about 220. I love a stocky man, um, fish hair. He, he loved to smoke his herbs and trees. So he loved, he loved to flow. He loved to be high. He loved to stay high all the time. As I hugged on him, you know, it's just something about a man that's taller than you that just makes you just even more like, oh, like, oh, it's just, it's just something about a tall man. Like, put me in a corner, stay over me, punch me on top of my head every now and then, you know. I hugged on him, you guys, you know, we was hugged up, booed up, chilling. And as soon as we got there, it was like, well, we know what we're here for. But I'm like, at least can we just slip into it? Like, no, Chris wanted it right away. We started off slow, like, you know, we started with the kissing, the rubbing, the... <laughs> he moaning and groaning and croning and, you know, he... <laughs> he was doing his own thing. He was in his own world. And what turned me on even... This is going to get graphic, you guys. Like I said, if you're not 18, get out the room. When I was... <laughs> slurping it, erping it. He was... Had, he had his... <sighs> you guys... This is for my people that have done this before. And tell me I cannot be the only one. I know I'm not. Seeing a man sit relaxed and comfortable on the bed while you just putting the work on on a pole and he just puffing and smoking and he moaning it. Oh! It was something. Seeing him do that, seeing the pleasure in his eyes and he was Girl, it, girl. I know my girls know what I'm talking about. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That right there, it made me just go even harder. Cause it was like, oh girl, I know I, I I know the feeling he got right now. If I could feel what he feeling, girl, I bet that's a key. I bet that's a key. So I'm going in, y'all going in. He put his blunt down. He was like, oh come on, get on this bed. Let me eat. Girl, he was girl, he was slurping and urping and flirting. Girl, he was doing a thing, girl. He was doing it. I'm cooing, hollering, moaning, crying. Bitch, I'm just. At this, at this moment, I know I'm singing. I know I'm singing a heavenly song to my next door neighbors. Oh, that tongue feels so good. Oh, 
Tongue me out like you should. The noise I'm making at that point, I give a fuck about nobody next door. After about a good 10 minutes of tongue action, the part I dread the most. It was time to insert. Girl, I just hate. I hate when it's time to insert. Oh, God. And he was so girthy. I was, I couldn't take it, y'all. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo. Tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomato. <gasps> Surprising, right? I couldn't take it. But I was 20 at this time. I wasn't getting flipped and bent over at this point in time. I was doing it, but not on a regular. So you guys, like, it was hurting. And he used to get so irritated because it was like, like he was like, and take the dick. Stop begging me to fuck you. I want you to be able to take it. Stop squealing. Stop moving. Stay still and let me get to you because that's what you call me for to come over here and get to you. Don't cry when I get here. Don't be all on the side of the bed, all in your head, falling all off the bed. Stay still when I dig all off in that ass. Don't run from this dick, nigga. And that's what he was like. He was, you know, he was kind of upset, but I'm like, you got to understand. Like, I'm like, you just can't go. Like, you can expect to go one stroke in and try to hit the bottom. Like, no, you got to, you got to eat. You got to eat. And, and, and every stroke out, you got to, like, you know, like, you see, I could be versed because I know what bottom's like. I know not to go in and go plunge all the way in the first. No, you got to. Every stroke, you got to put a little bit, a little bit more and more in there. And then let me get accustomed to the feel of it so it could be a custom fit. And then when we working and working, we could, you know, gay, 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 gay. Put my, put my fuck in here. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we could start off like that, but we got to start off slow. But he was the type of person he wanted to get in there and just ram. But then I got to realize, okay, he used to, he used to mess with women, you know, peaches. So, you know, I'm, I'm assuming the woman he was messing with, Mustard. But I mean, she was used to it. I mean, she stayed with you all the time. So I know you probably pounding her out every night. You're not pounding me out every night. You, you pounding me every blue moon. So you got to take your time. So, you know, after repeated attempts, I just could not get a, I just could not get a feel of it. Uh, I couldn't get a custom fit. And so I was like, hmm, let's switch up a different position. When we first started out, I don't know if it's just me. I don't think dog style is a good position to start off. I think that I was such an amateur. I just I thought like Doggy Style was just a basic position we could start off with. But no, Doggy Style is kind of like a, a advanced position when when you getting it getting it in in your beginner positions. Then you then you advance to that. You can't start off with the advancement level and you a beginner. So I was like, we starting off wrong. Put me on my side. And when you put me on my side, Jordan started going in. He started. You know, work, working me on my side first. Like, you know, he was working me slowly. Like, like the song I was singing. He was working me slowly. And once he started, he started working me a little bit harder. And, you know, then I started pushing back. Like, you know, I started fucking back. And that's when the fun truly began. Like I was saying, he was working me slowly, y'all. He was working me slowly. On the side. Out of nowhere. Ugh, ugh, ugh. He bust. I'm ready to get the fuck after this shit. I hate it when I get into the mood and the swing of things and the experience for him is over. I'm like, dude, I'm just getting it. I'm really about to start cut. I'm about to start cutting up. Like, it about to be a wop, wop, wop. Like, it about to, I'm about to go up, about to go off, and now it's over. I was determined not to let the night in. So he was like, come on, let's go shower together. If you have not showered with a sex that you like, highly recommend it. It was such... Turn on. I did things in that shower that y'all probably did. I mean, we had soaps and suds everywhere. I was washing his back, he was washing mine, he was caressing the, the anal wall. But I mean, <laughs> and when we got out the shower, I was still hugged up on him, you guys. I was still hugged up because the night was still young. We had just got into it, and we sat back on the bed, started chilling again. And Something just came over me to just go back down there. And this time, you guys, since he, since we got the first the first bust out the way, I was like, this time he can last longer. So, bitch, I just went in. <laughs> I started attacking. I started attacking. 
I put the whole, <laughs> I put the whole, I went to the base. He was about seven, I want to say, but he was thick. I went to the base. I was, oh, uh, oh. Uh, and he, oh, uh, he was, God, the moan this man produced was such, oh my God. Up to, up to this point in my life, this was the best experience I've ever had. Speaking for my girls, and when I meet my girl, I meet my gay boys. Y'all don't judge us because when my gay boys come here, it's a safe space for all of us to be free. But so don't y'all get that extra rush when y'all feel like when y'all messing with somebody y'all have no business doing. It's like, it's, it's supposed to be forbidden, but it's like, it just turns you on even more. Like, what if we get caught? Can we call her? Like, it's like, oh my God. Like, the rush of us doing something we had no business doing turned me on further. Made me went even further. Yo, I'm going in. I'm slurping and sucking and stroke, doing it all. One of his dumbass friends called his phone and was like, Man, come come out the hotel, man. We got a sale to get. Yeah, man, he said I gotta go right in the parking lot. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, he was, you know, selling selling his herbs and trees. Went out there, you guys. Now the the hotel where we was positioned there had a, a view uh outside view of the parking lot. So I'm like I ain't gonna run. I ain't gonna just lock the door behind you. I ain't, I ain't come and check on you and my man. Nothing like that. I was like, I don't come. I don't come watch what you're doing. You're not my man. I'm not gonna come. You know, check on you. But when you went outstairs, when you went downstairs, you guys, something came over me. I ran to the window to go see. And when I put my head out out the window, he was getting in a car and he was leaving. And I'm like, oh, damn. Looks like I'm here by myself tonight. So I was like, well, you might not be going too long. I text this phone like, you know. How long you gonna be? He was like, he was like, not long at all. He said the kissy motion. So girl, seeing that, I was like, oh. coming back, I get to finish what I started. Girl, I put on, I put on Cartoon Network and I was just watching TV, kicking into my friends, taking pictures, taking snaps. Like, girl, I'm in this hotel. I, if I have any videos in my snaps, you guys, I'm about to put that in here. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. I'm throwing tomato. So I'm just taking pictures, taking videos, like, girl, I'm in a hotel with a man I should be in here with. Boom, by pow, I'm dropping a location and everything. One eternity later. I text him again, no reply. It's going on about a good 8.30. Damn, he's taking a pretty long time, damn. All right, I'ma still wait. He paid for the room after all, so he gonna come back. 9.30, he text again, no reply. Much, much, much later. If you wanna leave me in this hotel by myself tonight, that's fine. I, I'm, if you could've told me that, I would have, I would have taken a, a whole free hotel room. I would have been a fool to pass that up. You called me up here to spend it with you, like, and you ditched on me. I don't know where you went. I can't get in touch with you, so. 10 o'clock hit. Two hours and 30 minutes have passed by, no reply. I said, you know what, fuck this. I packed up my belongings. You guys, I was so petty. When I left, I took the key card. Now, if you went to a hotel before, I'm pretty sure all of you have. If you have not, what the fuck are you doing? When you have a key card to get into a room, that's the only way you can get into the room. You gotta put it by the door and everything. But I took it. I didn't even turn it in. I put it in my pocket and I walked out of Best Western. So the room that you paid for, but you left me in for two hours, or going on three hours, I took the key card, I didn't turn it in. I made sure you didn't get back in there. Now, they probably could've gave you an extra one, but the one I had, you wasn't getting in with it. Cause I took it and I left. On some petty sheet. Yes, I did. I was petty and I left. I was feeling so good, you guys. But then you just up and leave without a trace. And the only reason why I'm speaking on this is because it just so happened. We started <laughs> we started contacting each other again last night. <laughs> so part two of this hotel experience could be on the way very soon if all the cards play all right. And hopefully I won't get abandoned in the hotel again. And that was my hotel experience, you guys. But that is all for this story time. Like I said earlier, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can see this beautiful Melanie the King. Before I cut this video short, I want me one thing clear. I usually don't ever respond to my comments. I try to be, you know, cute with y'all because, you know, like, we, we, we run a community here, so I don't want to be fake to nobody. I, I like to respond and surprise y'all. Like, yeah, I'm reading y'all comments. But some comments, 
y'all just say the most. Y'all just say the most to me. Like, bitch, last night I got called dumb. I was, I got called a dummy. And people was liking it. And I'm like, bitch, like, oh my God. Like, y'all, it's fake as fuck. It don't bother me. I knew what I was stepping into when I made these types of videos. I knew that. I just live in my truth. I'm me. I am me. Doesn't matter what you think about me, what you say about me. I am just myself. I can't be nobody else but me. But like I said, that's all for this YouTube video. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I won't be going too long. I'll try not to be. Bye.